In this video, we're going to talk about the Halo Infinite update, things that went right and wrong, the developers commenting on the update, and just the state of Halo Infinite as a whole. There's a lot we got to cover, so let's waste no time and jump right in. Specifically, January 19th, 2022, Halo Infinite got a hot fix that is supposed to fix a lot of the big issues with Big Team Battle. This is coming off of the heels of a lot of the monetization changes that has been slowly trickling out since the Cyber Showdown event, so we're going to be getting more monetization changes in the future, and at least that's something that 343 is working on. Now, the top fix was supposed to fix Big Team Battle, which was absolutely broken. A lot of the games weren't working correctly, and in addition to that, they were going to be giving us five double XP boosts and five challenge swaps. However, not only did this update not go as planned, it hardly worked at all. And Sketch actually tweeted this out, stating, quote, Well, damn, today's Big Team Battle hotfix did not appear to be the outcome we expected. There are minor improvements, but overall, matchmaking issues are still occurring. Thanks to the folks who have been working hard and we're sorry this didn't quite get the job done, work continues. Now here's the thing, I have no doubt that 343 is working hard to get a lot of these improvements in place and push through a lot of the big problems that is plaguing the game. However, remember what we talked about before during the development cycle, how Halo was almost moved over to a completely different programming system and instead it was kept on the old engine that is very difficult to use and very hard to implement changes. And I really think that we're kind of facing the brunt end of this right now. Specifically to add new modes or push through bug fixes or anything, it seems like it's a very big ordeal for 343. A lot of people are like, hey, change this. And they're like, okay, give us a month timeline and we'll fix it. And that just doesn't seem feasible for what is supposed to be a live service game. And the big problem is I don't see the big light at the end of the tunnel here. Specifically cheating, desync, and the many other problems that are plaguing Halo Infinite it don't seem like easy fixes and it's looking like it's going to be a pretty long timeline before all of the problems that we're dealing with right now are fixed and this doesn't include new content this doesn't include expansions of the game and it doesn't include any of the future problems that are going to arise now the problem is halo's already built on this engine and i don't see the development process getting any quicker and it doesn't seem like adding more people into the mix is going to improve things we can only hope that the team gets better over time a lot of these fixes get patched through and then a lot of more problems don't arise and I know for some of you that's being way too optimistic, but the best way to think about it right now is that Halo Infinite is just in like pre-alpha beta, okay? We get to try the game out, we get to play it a little bit, but there are problems. This is not a full release. Just tell yourself that at night, and I think this whole process is easier to go through if I'm being honest. At the end of the day, the core gameplay is incredibly fun, and if they mess that up, then nothing else matters, right? We only care about all this other stuff because the core gameplay is so fun so it's really going to take a lot of hard work on the end of 343 and it's going to be a long time until the game is everything that we want it to but until then at least we're getting minor updates cosmetic changes and hopefully the next thing that they really tackle is desync followed by anti-cheat and i think that the game will be in a much better place just dealing with those two things. But for those of you who want to dominate ranked, you got to go check out the Game Leap website down below. We have in-depth breakdowns, strategy guides, tips and tricks, and so much more. Do yourself a favor and go check it out right now down below.